Do you know if there's a USB le cable limit, length limit, if uh, you only hook one device to it like a net can? Yes, yes there is. There's a spec for USB. Yeah, they're basically saying 15 meters, don't ever go farther than 15 meters, that's approximately... Well, three times five. About 15 feet. Change. 15 no, five, feet it's five change. meters, about 15 feet. About 15 feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never ever. So that's why most USB cables, if you get them, they're, they're not that long. They're not even, six, that's five, not even, ten, yeah, that's, that's not even. So we had a reboot here. So who should I log into? Yoshi? You, you. Log in as me. Well, there's a novel thought. So I'm going to log in as myself. And we're going Hello. to, we've got a, uh, an Intel USB net cam here. Now this is going to, we're going to try it with a net cam. And that's what people tend to want to do this with. Currently we've got... How many devices, how many uh, cables look to we got one. We got one cable here. You know, we're going to hook up another cable. Wait a minute. All right, you're going to do that? Well, let me launch that meeting after you do that. Okay. It, as soon as you unplug USB, it's going to confuse the heck out of it. it so we're, we're now up to how many feet with these we're cables? We're going to be about 12 feet, I'm going to say. Okay, we got so we're still not cables. past one. Put another one in. Well, you know, we're, we're doing that, Leo. Check this out. So it actually says, even on the cable, it says there's a little tiny label here that says... Should I start it Caution. now? Caution. Do not exceed 10 right, feet of total cable distance on low-speed devices, 16 feet on high-speed devices. All right. So we're, we're going to start net meeting. Let's, uh, let's play this and see if I can see myself. I can see myself. That's I don't want to see myself, okay, go ahead but and shut I can that see meeting myself. Down. All right. So let me shut net meeting down before you unplug that. All right. You're going to unplug it. Now, how, mu how much more are you going to put in there? We're going to put about uh, 50, what is 56 feet. About you're, 56 what? feet. All right, so yeah. that's well beyond the spec. Okay, we're going to wander down here, All Leo. right, while you're wandering, let me launch that meeting again and see if we can get a picture. So we're gone. Well, we're we're gone. not plugged in, Leo. Oh, oh, oh. There's okay. no camera Tell me in. when it's plugged in, and I will, I will push the button. I'm still trying to, to get to the end He's of the cable, Leo. He's going to the end of the 56-foot cable. Wait, here we so, go. So the idea is the longer the cable gets, shall I plug you in, Patrick? Fire it up. All right. I'm going to plug. Yeah, it says found new hardware. Let me plus the start video and see if it's working. So the idea is the longer the cable gets, the more reflections you have in, in there, the more problems you have in there. And the video is not starting. Let me close it and start over again because I had this open when it... Okay, it says it found new hardware. That's good. It means it sees something. But are we going to get a... Oh, it's not recognized. It's not recognized. Patrick, play with your cable here. Plug this in. Plug this in. Make sure you're going to plug this in. Maybe we went, maybe we went too far. Well, it worked have we the show. You tried this before the show and yeah. it worked. All right, try it again. Unplug it and plug it in again. Let's see if we can get plug and play to work. Go. Where are you going, Patrick? Don't come back here. We got nine cables here. I'm trying to make sure they're all plugged in. Make sure in. they're all plugged in. All right. So the idea is as this cable gets longer and longer, the signal gets attenuated. There are reflections inside the signal. The bouncing around gets worse and worse. And in theory, you're really not going to have enough signal. You feel good about it? Cool. It says it doesn't recognize it. Unknown, unused, unknown. Oh, my goodness, he's getting angry now here. <laughs> We're getting another one. <laughs> We're going to try another one? Oops. Oh, don't try that one. That's mine. Don't use that one. So um, unplug it. Unplug it. Let me plug it in again down here. All right, I'm going to unplug it, and I'm going to plug it in down here. Now, if these are passive connections, basically this is plugging one USB into another USB. Uh, you can use devices that are active. They're basically repeaters. It'll boost the signal. You can even... All right, should we try it now? All right, found new camera. It found the USB. Oh, I install software. Did you install the? Uh, yeah, it's, it's in there. Oh uh, well, you know the thing is we're seeing it. No, it's not gonna. It's probably not gonna work. Let me try it just out of curiosity. It found it. It found it. But does it see it? No, it doesn't. So you know I think we may be having some problems because of the length. Five meters is the limit. Now there are others. Some other choices. Roll this in here. Let's show you. Patrick, you can come back now. There's some good choices that you might want to take a look at. Uh, we mentioned these active repeaters. This is called an active extension cable. And the whole idea of an active extension cable is it's a booster. So it can go a lot farther. In fact, these active extension cables are quite long, and you can, you can act, add them up in a daisy chain and, uh, and get it out to, how far can we get? About 80, 80 feet, something like that? 16 feet times, uh, times 5. That would be 80 feet, mm -hmm. okay? And then this is, if you really got to get, get a long way, this is called extreme USB. What this basically does is it converts the USB into an Ethernet signal. Now, as you know, Ethernet can go a lot farther, up to 100 meters. So basically, by converting this USB into Ethernet, we're really extending the length we can go. So if you need to go five meters, a single USB cable or a couple in extensions are going to work. We were able to get that 56-foot combination working 
uh, earlier today. So we know that that can sometimes work. I would recommend, though, if you're going to go that distance, you use something that's a little more expensive, an active extender cable. These aren't too bad. They're about 20 or 30 bucks per. And then finally, if you really want to go for 100 bucks, you can go for the uh, USB converter. Patrick's still trying to get it working. I love it. He never gives up. I if you want to read more, sure. we've got links to everything. We may get it going before the end of the show to screensavers.com. David Prager has explained all. He's the guy who bought all these parts, and he's the guy who's going to have to get this working before the end of the show.